Right, so we're gonna be testing a 64DD cartridge splitter. This is called the DCC adapter. What this does is it allows us to connect two separate N64 cartridges simultaneously so that it can communicate with the uh, N64 uh, PI bus. Now I had mentioned in my last little short video that it would be cool to test 64DD demo that I ran that uh, requires fonts from a special 64DD disc cartridge or IPL cartridge and it allows uh, access to special fonts and wave data information. And so this cartridge is required as the 64DD development units do not have this IPL chip. So we're gonna insert the uh, DCC adapter. Just sinks in there like that. Now we have this N64 development flash cartridge that has uh, an IPL boot image on here. It's like a bootloader for the 64DD dev units. And normally that's loaded in via the partner N64, but when you're testing the DCC adapter and validating that uh, games will work via the N64 flash cartridges, you use the DCC adapter uh, along with the IPL uh, disc cartridge for font access. So we're gonna load that in now. So this is the IPL4 ROM boot image that we're gonna load in here. So we just insert it in the top like that. And now if we boot this up, you should see the boot image loads. And there is the demo that loaded off the blue disc. And again, as in my last little short demo, you can see how the fonts are all corrupted and missing. And again, that's because we do not have the special uh, IPL uh, cartridge for font and wave data access. And normally when you're using the partner, you insert it here at the top. But when we're testing on a, a DCC adapter using that a special adapter and an N64 flash cartridge, uh, we simply insert it into the front slot here on the DCC adapter. So I've shut this down and we're gonna insert that into the front slot. There we go. And now we should see that the fonts will be present. And there we go. Font access pulled in from the uh, N64 uh, disc cartridge or IPL disc cartridge. Pretty awesome.